Christmas time, some people like to send greetings on the internet or on a smartphone. But I still like Christmas cards the best. Let's see who wrote to my family and I. Look, here's one from Sir Zebulon Moonflower and his daughter Penelope and Zed and the other explorers in their Zeppelin. And here's one from Lily King at the candy store. And she sent me her delicious cake recipe. One and a quarter cups of sugar, two and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of milk, two tablespoons of butter and lard, one egg and a pinch of salt, and one teaspoon of vanilla. This one is from Old Wild Bill. On the photo, I see that Cowboy Bill and his friends decorated a cactus as a Christmas tree, very carefully. And this photo is of my nephew and a doll with fake antlers. His dear man action figure. We had to buy him the action figure for Christmas because he already owned the video game, the movie, and all 14 sequels. Last year at this time, we couldn't have sent or received Christmas cards like these because, well, let me explain in a little song. and snow and with his jaw agape the box said crooked on the post with no way to escape shaken and disheveled and full of misery when who came to his rescue but the current addressee sent the mailbox to the patron see what that beast has done i stand here with no options and he plays hit and run Patron, you've got to help me out While I am stationary, you have a lot more clout Said the citizen to the mailbox, I'll do all that I can We'll have to clip that rascal's wing if he tries this again Three full yards of concrete were poured into the form a mailbox face was peeping out like from a third floor dorm And when that one winged demon made his routine run That mighty bulwark on the berm repaid him two for one That mighty bulwark on the berm repaid him two for one 